Hey guys, my name is Jessica, I'm from Green Fever SA and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to do a vlog style video and see how it goes. This is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm not actually sure if it was a very good time to do it due to the fact that some of my propagations are already out but today's video is going to be about what's in my prop box and I want to show you how I sort of do my propagations I'm going to show you where I keep my prop box this is my office um, where I generally do my day to day work and over here is my sliding door uh, this is a north facing window um, so it does get good light in the morning and in the afternoon but it is a little bit more um, filtered because it's obviously got a wall on either side it's sort of set back so uh, yeah then what I do is I keep my prop box right over there I have this little prop box over here which I will show you first and I am probably going to take oh this is hard with one hand um okay so this only has three things in it but this really cool guy over here is my dragon scale that i have killed multiple times uh due to root rot um and he is now recovering uh or trying to recover once again he's actually grown a really substantial root system so i'm like super chuffed with him and he is pushing out a little leaf there we go look at that beautiful little leaf coming out so that's him his root system has grown really well okay so I'm now somewhat kind of cheating because I have put a camera on the stand unfortunately I'm not very good at vlogging apparently but I've just realized that I don't think vlogging is gonna work really well for this type of video but hey I gave it a try. So I'm going to go back to this little guy, well this little prop box and yeah if you have a look you can see his roots over here, a little root over there it's coming out, uh, we've got some really fine little roots sort of there and there growing um, so he is actually doing well, he is going to be He's going to actually outgrow this really soon and so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take him out of here without disturbing him at all and try to put him into a small net pot. Um, so I'll keep all this bag that's already on, you know, try not to fiddle with the roots too much and then pop him into my big prop box. Um, the reason for that is obviously he's not going to fit in here anymore, but I don't want to change too much at once. So I still want him to be in a very humid environment. I still want him to be in the spag. Um, and then maybe when he throws out a leaf, then I might put him in liquor and then slowly take him out of the propagation box. Then another thing I have in here, which I can't remember where I put it. Oh yeah. It is a little bulb, which I don't think is actually going to be doing very well. It doesn't, it hasn't done anything. So I don't know if it's, um, you know, let's do it like this. I don't know if he's actually dead. I converted my Alocasia rubra to Leca and I found two bulbs. So they're in here. Um, none of them have done anything yet. So, so yeah, as you can see, there's this long stem at the bottom. Uh, I face him down on top of some spag and then I put some spag on top um, but he hasn't done anything so we'll see what happens. Uh, then there's also this guy in here which my sister gave me a cutting of and I don't know what it is. I'll ask her. Okay so then this big guy over here who is quite big uh, he sits here most of the time. I do have holes that I've drilled in the top, which I'll show you. You can see I have drilled holes in the top. 
And then every morning I generally open it up and slide it down at the back there. So I leave them open and then I open the sliding door. Just excuse me catching rainwater. But yeah, I open the sliding door so it gets a little bit of fresh air over the top of this and then I close it again. Um, so let me show you a quick little view in here and then I'll pull some about. So yeah, I have a few interesting things going on. Not as much as I did have. Um, so yeah, let's pull out a few. The first thing that I'm going to pull out, which is really, really cool, is my Monstera Peru. It was a cutting that I bought. Um, it hadn't opened up any of its leaves other than this one. And so I've thrown it into the propagation box. It is in liquor at the moment and I just want to increase the humidity so the reason it's in a pretty little pot is obviously uh, it's in its net pot with with nutrient water at the bottom um, and you can see all these roots are actually looking really really happy um, and growing away there then what I had also decided to do is to because it is a cutting and because I like to experiment a bit I put this bag around the node and have put some cellophane around it and he is already starting to grow a root I don't know if you'll be able to see it right over there a little root is growing down so pretty soon I should be able to cut this off but I would like to to let this leaf unfurl and maybe grow a few more a few more roots uh, to have like pretty substantial system and then I'm going to kind of hope that the node down below will then push out a new growth point so that I can have four growth points instead of the three because I want as many as I can have. The next one which is in the same sort of situation in in the Leka is my Syngonium which is one of my favorite genuses at the moment and um, that along with Monsteras Definitely. So I had these as two leaf cuttings. The original leaves have both fallen off and all of these leaves have now grown for me. Um, so I will probably start taking him out of the propagation box soon. I just want, you know, to get a good few leaves on him. So it's two cuttings in here. Each have thrown out two leaves. I mean, look how beautiful that one leaf is absolutely gorgeous and thankfully it is pushing out another one that's got a little bit more green and this leaf I must be honest I think is my absolute favorite so yeah this is my um, variegated syngonium and I actually have two more syngomians coming that I'm waiting to arrive so I'm excited about that very excited about Syngonians. Uh, okay, these two just made in hair ferns. This one was actually my sister's. Um, she went away for a little while and in that space it completely just died off. So I threw it in my propagation box just to recover for her and it is doing super happy now. So I can start probably transitioning it out a bit but I did want it to get just a few more little ferns. This is um, a cutting off mine, or well, not a cutting, It's divide this was divided off mine and it's in Lekka. And I wanted to see how the fern would do in Lekka. There is two things that I'm not going to talk about in here. And that's because I'm going to do another video on them later. It's one of my um, Lekka projects. So, so yes, not going to talk about that. But this beautiful little leaf... Is a cutting from my sister's Monstera and Asonii, the broad version, the normal version. And he is very happily pushing his first new leaf, which is extremely exciting. And you can see a really cool leaf over there. And yeah, not much to say about it. These guys are fantastic to propagate. I love to just snip it off the plant or to do a spag bag on the plant. Then when it starts to get um, some nice roots, then I snip it off. I pop it in a little net pot so it gets loads of air and some spag and then pop it in this propagation box. You do have to keep an eye on, obviously, you know, the um, 
the, the spag and make sure it doesn't dry out. But generally, if it's in the propagation box and there's some good humidity in there, they shouldn't really dry out too much. And if they do, you can just give them a quick little water run through over the sink. And then yeah, happy chaffies. Very easy to grow. And then this, on a related note, is a little Andersonii narrow form cutting. So these leaves, as you can see, um, are a lot more narrow than the other one. Let's have a look. Let's see if you can sort of see the difference. Obviously, this one's a lot more immature than that one. Um, but yeah, you can sort of see he's a lot more narrow. He will also get the holes. He's got another little leaf about to come out. So I do have a previous cutting. If you give me two seconds. Okay, so this is an older cutting of uh, the narrow form of the Monstera andersonia, and you can see that they do get the holes. They almost become exactly like an, um, you know, a normal broad andersonia. Uh, this is just an avocado pip, and look how cute he is. So he's actually just in a little shot glass with some water in, and I actually, I had put him on our Instagram, which is, uh, our Instagram handle is at greenfeversa, I think it's got some underscores in there, I'll put it down here if you guys would like to follow us, but I found this guy inside my Evo, well, this guy inside my Evo, and he had already rooted himself, so I basically just popped him in some glass in my humidity box, and look at him go. I'm actually going to give this to a friend. I already have two avo trees, one which is already about three years old and the other is probably about two years old. So I don't really need another avo tree because they get ginormous. They get huge. Uh, so bear that in mind before you plant your avo tree. I might actually uh, take you outside after this, but I could not let him grow. I mean, he was obviously trying super hard and he's actually really beautiful. He's a really beautiful little plant. Next. This guy, I actually, this is a, um, and shame he doesn't look very happy at all, but this is a Scandapsus pictus um, argyreus. And as you can see, he's all curled up. He's not a happy chappy. Um, he is starting to grow a bit of a root on that note from being in the propagation box but I actually cut him off the main plant I, I actually have another one propagating in water and then I have the main plant uh, back in soil but in a clear pot uh, but I left only one leaf on him and he just wasn't doing well um, he didn't have root rot when I checked the roots he didn't have root rot but he kept curling up even after I'd watered and he still is so I'm really honestly I have no idea what's going on with him if the camera falls it's because my cat is being crazy um both of them are if you can hear that running around that's my other cat playing with her toy so just excuse that but y'all I'm not really sure what's happening with this guy um, at least he is starting to shoot out some roots and Hopefully I can save him because I really wanted a nice big plant of this and now I've just basically hacked them all up. So that's not great. I don't know. These are doing okay. Actually, they're doing very well. So this is Harley G's um, method, uh, butterfly method for the string of hearts. I'm actually not really the biggest fan of the string of hearts if I'm honest. I bought one because I thought I really liked them and then when I got it I was just like really underwowed. Um, so I'm trying to bring back my love for them by propagating them because I seem to love things that I can propagate. I'm trying to bring back my love for it and I want to make it extremely full at the top of the pot. So I've actually got two of these guys growing in the pop, top, prop box. I'm not going to show you them both because they're basically the same thing. But yeah, it's doing really well. They, uh, this is all new growth, all this green stuff that you can see. So he's um, quite happy with being in the prop box. So thanks, Harley G, for hopefully bringing back my, my love for the uh, string of hearts. These is just an experiment. These cute little things are uh, blueberries. So I cut up some blueberries that have gone a little bit off and I just shoved them in this and popped in the prop box and they are starting to shoot up. Apparently it takes five years before you will actually get a blueberry on your blueberry uh, plant. So if you love blueberries and you want to grow your own, um, this might not be the best way to do it if you want the fruit now, but 
yeah, I'm just enjoying propagating them and growing them. And then this is the last guy. He actually got put in here yesterday. So, um, yeah, this is a ZZ plant. Um, I've actually just popped it in some spag in here. I, I know a lot of people just say do it in water. I do not own a ZZ. Um, but what had happened is um, my boyfriend's sister, so my sister technically, is my other sister, not the one I was talking about in the, <laughs> in the beginning. She has just moved into a new beautiful house, which is down the road from us. Um, so congrats to you, Ellie. Uh, I actually bought her a ZZ plant um, as a housewarming gift, which I haven't given her yet. I'm giving it to her tomorrow. But it had two just ugly branches and I wanted to, and it, had, it was quite a full plant, so I just felt it wasn't necessary to give her, you know, these two branches that just had lots of crispy, yucky leaves. So I, yeah, cut them off and shut them in my prop box just to see what happens. Apparently they take really long to grow. But yeah, I don't know if this is a good way to do it. We're experimenting. And that's it for what I'm going to show you in my prop box. I am going to show one more thing. Actually, I might just show two, two more things in a bit more of a, a vlog style. This video is getting so, so, so long. Um, I'm going to have to edit the shit out of it. Because I don't think anyone wants to watch me for 25 minutes. So, okay. I'm going to show you. Over here, I have a really cool Orbifolia. Uh, just the normal one. It's not the, the splash. Um, and he is rooting away in some water. They are actually doing really, really well. I basically just cut these guys off and shove them in water. And look how beautiful they are. I'm super, super, super chuffed with how they are growing. And yeah, I'm actually going to show you something really cool. Seeing as I have you here and it's sort of on this topic. I have... Let me go quickly show you. Guys, I've had Hoyas for three months, okay? I'm not really a Hoya person, um, but they say once the Hoya bug bites, it bites. And I have, on my Obavada, a peduncle. Can you see it a bit nicely there? And I don't only have one peduncle, I have two peduncles on my Obavada here, guys. Um, so yeah, and then I'll quickly show you my biggest ever tree. Quickly show you my biggest ever tree. If we go dun 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 into the garden, and there he is. And I think, seeing as I'm out in the beautiful garden, I'm just going to do my say goodbye over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really helps my channel grow and it is free for you guys. I hope to see you guys next time and have a great weekend. Hello beautifuls.